always difficult when you've got two in the same race. Um, you know, going into because they are different athletes and they both need to be tread slightly different. Um, you know, in the warm up, you have one goes in slightly before the other and stuff like that, and we do pace with one and end with the other. Um, motions wise, you know, I was so proud of the lads in the semi final. Uh, you know, Michael in the heat and the semi final set the world on fire. Um, Andrew in the semi final looked amazing. Um, but I knew it was a very close final, some superstars of swimming in there, and it was very close from 1 to 8, so it could have gone either way. Um, emotions, I'm really pleased it was on the first night, the first, um, it was the first final of the night at 7.30, because what I hate is when you're waiting around for an hour, waiting for it to come. So, emotions, I actually went away from the team and sat upstairs by myself, uh, just because I like to watch and, and have my own space. Uh, emotions wise, I started, um, writing the splits down for the lads and I think I got the first 50 and then one of the hundreds and then I didn't get any more, I got it really involved. Um, I was just blown away by it, I mean the time Michael set was, um, it was above and beyond what we even dreamt about to be honest when we sat down in September. We targeted 2800 and we thought that would be in the mix for a medal but it was still a dream and uh, to go 274 and just miss the old world record was, was unbelievable. So emotions were all over the place, I'm still, it's still sinking in, uh, but I'm really happy because the lads have worked really hard and uh, we've got a great team in Bath, so I'm, I'm still, it's still sinking in, but I'm really happy. About three or four months ago, the, we got a, li a, a little pot of money came available and we had to put a, um, like a form in to apply for anything extra that we thought might just help them towards the end of the season. And me, I sat down with Michael and Andrew and we went for altitude tents. Um, we've been away to altitude training and we found it really worthwhile. And we just thought if we can train in Bath but sleep at altitude, that would be something extra we could add. Um, to be honest, at the Bath ITC, you know, we, we do cover nearly every service possible. And this was just something extra that we've done. We've got a great team down there uh, with physios, assistant coach, strength and conditioning. Um, and it was just something little extra that we had. And, and that's what being a top flight athlete is, it's doing everything that you possibly can. That had a great build up and that just added something extra to the, to the programme.